know you said you've got to go day to day with how things are yeah. given the situation. But if things could stay as they are from today for the rest of the season and then things are sorted out, can you stay? You know, would that be enough for you to stay to the end of the season and reassess? Me? Yeah, yeah. If I stay until the end of the you, season? You're saying about you, you've got to go day to day. Sure, I, I, there's no doubt that I stay until sure. the end of the season. No I doubt. Thought that was the case. I yeah, yeah, absolutely. We just have to wait until day by day because everything can, can change. And as you know, the situation is clear. The club is for sale and hopefully it will go through to, 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 to sort things out and give us a perspective. But it's pure speculation and I have no further information than you already have. And that's, that's what I meant with uh, day by day, which is anyway a good, a good way to live your life. And now it's uh, <laughs> we are like forced to do it because uh, we there are some circumstances we cannot influence and that is at some point not so nice because you have no 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 strings to pull and no actions to do to help but on the other side it gives you the freedom to 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 focus on the stuff we can influence and this is our performances and show the spirit because of course we are um, the focus is on the first team, the focus is on, on our players, on me and on, on the first team of Chelsea. But Chelsea is much more than only the first team in Premier League. It's a massive club, a massive club with huge tradition. And there are so hundreds, hundreds of people who may be I'm pretty sure very more than uh, our players and, and, and the staff, me included. And, and for them it's important that we show the spirit and, and we give them a bit of uh, distraction and, and kind of hope and and, um, and, and and show what we are about. We are about, about football because we love the game. Okay, at the back there in the middle, your hand up. Lawrence, what's um, practically changed from a preparation point of view, etc. in this week, or is it exactly the same? I think practically changed more for the guys who, like for example, uh, organized the journey to Lille because they like have to figure out how we can arrive there and in the end I get the information so for me personally when I come to the building actually nothing has changed so far we do our meetings we prepare training we talk to 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 fitness uh, fitness department to the doctors talk to the players and and do the best training as possible and we demand it from everybody because this is what 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 makes Chelsea uh, special and what makes Chelsea a, a, a top club is the is the commitment, the quality of support, and the commitment from everybody uh, in, in in our building, and in the end, that makes a, that uh, is the foundation, or like, or maybe it's it's the top of a, a strong, strong club, and this is what we try to maintain. Maintain so has n has not changed so much. The, the the schedule up to the games is in the moment the same. Andy Dillon, uh, Thomas, I just wonder, you said there about the things that changed for the travel to Lille. So have, have things changed? No, my last information is that we have a plane, but uh, and we can go by plane and uh, can go back by plane. If not, we go by train. If not, we go by bus. If not, I drive for seven seater. Honestly, <laughs> I, and I will do. Yeah, you can uh, mark my words. I will do. I will arrive there. I mean, if you ask me, like. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, if I would join a, a, a Champions League match at the sign line and what I, was re what I was willing to do, I would say, okay, when do I have to be where? And why should this change? I will be there and we will be there. And uh, of course, there are like, in organization-wise, some uh, negotiations going on and, and talks, but it's, it does not influence me because we have, that's what I mean, we have brilliant guys who organize the, the, the travels and, and uh, we have uh, in, in every department uh, like so committed people that things are in the moment feeling pretty normal. You all about driving a seven seat Sorry? Are you okay driving a seven seat or on the left? That's a very good question. And then change to the right. Yes. Exactly. Well, at some point we need to have trust in the <laughs> coach. <laughs> Matt Law. Thomas, um, there were Saudi Arabia flags in the away end today. Okay. There were 81 <laughs> executions in Saudi Arabia yesterday. Yeah. And they have a war in Yemen. <laughs> yeah, um, of course. Yeah. Your club is in your situation. Do you find it weird at all that one club is in one situation and, and one club isn't? <laughs> wow, yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a big one, and unfortunately, the situation uh, the situation is like this also on, on for for the owners of, of of Newcastle, and that affects in the end. Yeah, it is. Uh, what can I say? 
but I don't want to point the finger because like uh, comparing yourself or blaming the others does not make the situation for for us a, a different situation and I think like the statement that, that we condemn war and and the action in, in from from Russia towards Ukraine there are like uh, there's no doubt but we are facing the consequences actually at the moment and uh, this is where where the focus is I hope you can understand that Sammy At some point, we need also to trust the process, like to trust the process, for example, of the league to, to control who owns a club. At some point, we are like, okay, we are like maybe uh, famous employees because we speak into a camera and are on TV, but uh, in general, we're only employees and, and need to trust the process. Maybe as you need to trust the process that you work for a company that is not doing the morally and, and ethically wrong things. At some points, we need to trust. Um, and and maybe we need to we need to ask questions to the process of, of how this goes and 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 it's maybe an ongoing process and will never and will never end and just reminds us to be aware and conscious about it and and, and not look away okay we're going to do two more nizar hi thomas um, did you guys feel the noise a little bit today because it was a bit flat for a large part of the game um, and, and also sorry about Havertz's goal like the atmosphere in the stadium or what no. you mean or the performance Yes, but not more than 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 in the last game. I had the feeling, and and like I said, I, I feel it even like in the last days. It's our responsibility because we cannot influence um, the situation. We are also not responsible for the situation. So, at some point, it's our responsibility to 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 because we are in the spotlight and we have these games to focus on what we do good is our responsibility to our talent but to every every uh, employee of, of of chelsea and there are a lot of people which i feel and see uh, on a daily basis who are worried and who who, who work for decades and are not so famous uh, and and uh, maybe worry for the for for the for the for a pretty close future if things are uh, will be all right and for them it's important to have the attitude right and and also to focus on that and 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 see the responsibility what this means to these people and if it's just for 90 minutes you know we when we played football during corona we could not cure the virus but we we were there like to to give people some hope to that they that they feel joy excitement maybe anger and uh, it is also entertainment and this is what we try to do now the the the, the matter is very very serious of course um, the Kai Havertz goal was, was exceptional. Of course, we were a bit lucky today and we had a hard time on the pitch because Newcastle was physical, well-deserved, very physical, gave us, uh, was difficult to create chances to accelerate the game in the last 30 meters. Um, but it was so important not to concede, to have the chance to, to have maybe with one quality run, one quality pass and the quality finish to win it. And full credit because because we did and and we never got frustrated uh, about it and we defended uh, very very well and you could see for me in the last four minutes what a goal does to a team we were so good in the last four minutes suddenly it was easier to find the gaps to to keep the ball to to open up spaces switch off play everything was so so easier so much more fluid but uh, this is what happens and um, I. I, I think the distraction level was and uh, was not like was not the the, the 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 biggest part today. Okay, last question, Neil Barnett in the back. Uh, you talk quite a lot recently about players needing to have big balls. Um, I never said that. I said it. Really. Sorry. Well, the manager showed some balls with these decisions, maybe. Mm. Well, we had, as you, as you are aware, we started today in a 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one because, like, Aspi was out, Rhys James is out, Callum played there, Christian Pulisic came from, uh, from some days of, of feeling sick. 
So um, we struggled to find a, a real right wing back. Marcos uh, struggled during his, his uh, um, Corona time, so we were not sure if he can make it. We started in a 4-1-4-1. And the second half, it was a five. It was a back five, and of course, then Malang. Malang is, is good in defending, but we took the risk in the end um, on the left side, even on the left side, to be more offensive and uh, defend against the three strikers more or less in a three against three. And Shoshinio was the spare man in, in 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 front of the back three to control the counter attacks and the long balls. Uh, Hakim did it against Tottenham. Um, when we saw that they play a back five, it was a bit the same situation than against Tottenham. In, in one of the four games that we played recently, or three games we played recently. Uh, it's not their best position. Uh, it's, it's a bit easier for, for players like Christian when they then come on into a match or when they switch the position during a match, then you're already like in the, in the rhythm of the, and in the heat of the match. That, that helps a little bit. But uh, yeah, we, we took the risk to increase a bit the offensive threat, to have some runs. And, and I think in the end, we had a double run with Kai and with Christian Pulisic to arrive in the box. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy it was a bit of a risk because Malang was important in defending set pieces. It was a bit of a gamble, but the, the, the game was uh, a draw. And so what I, I thought like, OK, we're, 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 like, we're, we're taking the risk for a point now, but we can have a huge, uh, if we lose it, we lose one point because in a moment we have only a draw, but we could win two more points. So we, we took it and I'm, I'm happy because the impact general from the bench was, was huge. Kova was very strong, Christian was very strong and, and, and Romelu gave a, a presence. Great, thank you very much everybody. Thank you. Thanks.